Oh my gosh! Oh my god! It's a freaking shark! Holy crap! I got it! I got it! You gotta be kidding me! This is not real life! My name's Jacob Wheeler, and I'm a professional bass angler. Uh, I've been bass fishing for as long as I can remember. I mean, ever since I was two, three, four years old, being out there on the lake, it's, uh, it's been a way of life for me. And now that is the way I make my living. I get to travel all over the country, compete, but it's a lot more to that. You know, you hear that cliche of, hey, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. But that could literally be the motto for me. You know, Growing up in Indianapolis, Indiana, there's a a lot of, not a heck of a lot of options to go fishing. I mean, there's some good fisheries there, but it was sort of a deal that for me, growing up, I my dad liked fishing. Uh, he, he fished for walleye, fished for largemouth, smallmouth, and my uncle fished in a club, club, he had a bass boat. And so at a young age, I was five, six, seven years old, I just remember, going out there and you know if I wasn't catching them they would hook a fish and hook a bass or a bluegill and let me reel it in and it was like that's what got me hooked on it you know and but without my dad and my uncle that, that I wouldn't I wouldn't be where I was at today no doubt my first bass what started it all it's uh you know I I always started really young you know, two, three years old going with my dad. And so we go out here on this little lake and there's paddle boats that you can rent. And dad and I jump in a paddle boat and we're paddling around the lake and I make a cast with the old pre-rigged worm, plastic worm out there, fired out there. And I remember dad always telling me, man, be patient. Let that bait fall, slow down. And I remember making that cast out there and letting it fall and just sitting there like, oh, I want to reel it in, man, I want to reel it in. And all of a sudden my line just started tightening up. I reel down, I set the hook, I pull into him and I'm like, this is a dang shark. It's ginormous, it jumps. And I just, I just remember like, this is the coolest thing. I thought it was a 10 pounder. I thought it was a legitimate 10 pounder. I'm like, it's a 10 pounder. It was about two pounds, but that was the one like for me, that did it. Like that was like bass fishing, fishing in general, but bass fishing, that sucker right there, jumping, having that kind of moment. That's what started it all. I just love getting bites. I love reeling them, man. I love, that. that is what I get up for. When you want a spinner bait or you're throwing a bait out there and you get a doop or a whack and you know, you set the hook and that sucker's jumping all over the place. I mean, that is, Gosh, I almost smoked it. Ah, oh, that's some of a gun. Ah, uh, see, not the biggest bass. That's like right there. Doinked it. <laughs> I love it, man. All the way, doink. You know, every tournament, I still get goosebumps. I still have butterflies in my stomach when we launch the boat and before I get my number called. And you're running your first spot and you're like, man, is this tournament gonna end up how you want it to? Are you gonna figure out the fish? Are they changed from practice? What are you going to do? But when you get that first bite, it all changes. Skating first with 87 pounds, six ounces, 51 small pounds. Get Thank you, Lord. This one right here, it's pretty special. It's my first BFL win. A little bit of the backstory behind this was my truck broke down going to a tournament in Indiana. This is actually a Buckeye BFL. I was fishing one in Indiana. I only had 150 bucks for this tournament. And I called up FLW, which is now on the left, and called them up and said, hey, can I uh, transfer my money over? My truck broke down, I can't get to the tournament. So yeah, I was borrowing a boat from a good buddy of mine, Brian Johnson, and 
I got there, had one day of practice. Uh, spark plugs were fouled on the boat. The pump went out in the in the live well, um, but I ended up tying for the win. And without this tournament, I would never had the money to to go on. I mean that that tournament right there, you know, you're only given the opportunities that you have in front of you. But this one right here was just sort of a meant to be moment. We won the Forest Cup. And this tournament right here paid a half a million dollars. Um, <laughs> it was sort of like everything that she worked for. A lot of emotion, man. A lot of hard work. A lot of days on the water. I don't come down here and go through a lot of this. And so, like, grabbing a trophy that I hadn't held for, you know, eight years and sitting there and, like, all those memories come rushing back, you know, that the moments, the those hard days on the on, on the water practicing, the last minute catch that I caught in the Force Food Cup to solidify winning the tournament. Holding, you know, a trophy up in front of my family and, and people that, that believed in me my whole career. Like all of that coming to that moment. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of a lot of emotion that goes into that. And so like those memories like from all of that when I, when I touch that trophy and I think about it, it's like, man, that's, that's what it was about. I mean, it's, it's more than just a trophy. It's the memories attached to it. Fishing is not just something that I do. It's who I am. Like, I, I think about it nonstop. I eat, breathe, sleep bass fishing and fishing in general. I mean, my poor wife, she has to deal with it all the time. You, 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 wanna, you wanna know, you just ask her. She's gotta deal with it all the time. But that, it's just passion. It's the passion for the sport. It's the puzzle that's always changing. It never stops. And it's always evolving. There's always something to learn. This, this whole process of what I do, going out there on the water, competing, Going out there with my, you know, with Olivia, spending time chasing these fish. That's that's why I love most about it. Whatever your passion is, obviously for me, fishing is it. That's it's what my dream was when I was a kid. That's what my dream is now. I, I get to live out my dream being a professional bass angler. But I feel like the biggest thing that I, I have to challenge someone out there is whatever that is, pursue it. Pursue your dream. Take time to enjoy your passion. I, I can't imagine not pursuing my dream. We're only given one life. And ultimately, there's a lot of people that are gonna tell you, hey, man, this is tough. I don't know about this. You need to do this, you need to do that. But what this is about is being true to yourself. And ultimately, just be who you really are. But I want to take a moment to thank all my fans, friends, and family for all their support and their thoughts and their prayers. You know, it, it really means a lot and it, it didn't go unnoticed. So I appreciate all of that.